Hey guys, Bill coming back at you again today with another video. Today we'll take a look at the seeds that we planted last week and we'll also be harvesting the Platinum Girl Scouts cookies in the deep water culture system. Alright guys, so first off, let's take a look at the legal seeds that we planted last week. Alright, there they are. Or should I say, there it is. Uh, out of the four seeds, one popped. And that popped pretty quick. Within two and a half days, that was up. And uh, nice and strong. And uh, I was happy to see that. Expected to see the rest at any time. Uh, now, I did take the extra seed that I had kept because I had five seeds. And I did plug it down into here. So uh, we'll give that one a couple more days and see if that one germinates. So uh, not looking very good for um, the 34th Street Seed Company via the Government of Canada. Uh, now, I've kept these at 22. I've got the heat mat on. I'm not sure if that'll show up. 22.4. Now, we did have a couple of days. Where we had a really cold snap where it was like minus 40 or something. Uh, but what I did at that point, I took the dome off my seedling tray. And that fit pretty good over there and uh, pretty much covered the entire mat. So I had put that on there for when it was really cold. Uh, th it didn't really get that cold in here though even. So I probably didn't need it. But we definitely kept it consistently at 22 degrees. Now I did dump out the water that was in the bottom of this tray here. Now this is one of the Jiffy Pot uh, seedling starting kits. Which uh, you can go back to next week's video and see that. I got it on clearance at a at the local home hardware store so we thought I thought we'd give that a try um, and I don't I don't think it was anything to do with this system why they didn't germinate the peat seems to be at a, a, a decent uh, humidity and this one like I said this one popped up in like two and a half days super healthy just shot right up there so we'll see I'd like to have at least two of them so we'll see if that extra one that I plugged in there we'll see if that pops up so that's where we stand on the seeds. So now let's uh, let's get to the main show. So let's go check out the Platinum Girl Scouts cookies by In-House Genetics. All right, there they are, all finished up. Now I went over today and uh, picked off most of the leaves right down to the buds. Uh, as I had mentioned last week, I did have an issue with powdery mildew. So I really wanted to take care of that, make sure that all the leaves that possibly had powdery mildew. I took most of the leaves anyway, uh, whether they had it or not, just to be on the safe side. So everything here looks pretty good. And this is the other one here. Again, looks really good. Uh, I do have a picture before I took the leaves off because they were really pretty, nice, really dark leaves. We can see the, the leaves here nice and dark, but um, I'll put up a picture now of before I pulled all the leaves off today. Now, that was a sucky job, I'll tell you that. Uh, because these leaves are completely loaded with trichomes. Every edge, every surface of that. So, I would pick off some leaves. I'd have to go wash my hands, clean my hands, get the stickiness off them, come back, keep going, come back, keep going. And, uh, yeah, it took a fair bit of time, actually. I hate trimming plants like when they're all done and dried and cured or whatever and you got to trim them I just I do not like that part of the process at all but anyway we got most of them off now so it shouldn't be too bad now uh, they didn't get much size to them as we knew uh, because the mother plant was pretty much identical to this so they're not very big but they are solid little buds and I'll show you here close up really nice frosty buds now what I'm gonna do is I want to make sure this powdery mildew is dead on these plants uh, I don't want to take a chance of taking them out and then spreading powdery mildew more around the, the house uh, introducing it into the other tent or anything like that so what I'm gonna do is I set up my 3x3 three three, uh, with a heater now I've read that over 90 degrees Fahrenheit which is I believe around 32 degrees Celsius uh, that will start to kill the powdery mildew 
and most molds so I have a heater in there I have it cranked up if I crank the heater I can get it to about 37 which is about hundred degrees Fahrenheit and I'm gonna leave it in there for the first uh, I'm gonna say probably four hours or so uh, yes it's gonna hurt some of the terpenes for sure but I'm just gonna process this anyway because of the powdery mildew none of this will be smoked uh, I will be using it to make uh, probably butter and it should make some pretty kick-ass butter but like I said I want to make sure all the powdery mildew is killed off so that's the way we're gonna process it we're gonna we're gonna heat it up for the first four hours of hanging and then uh, after that we'll drop the temperature back down to about 60 degrees uh, about 55% humidity, 60% 60, 60 humidity, and uh, let it continue to dry from the inside in those conditions. So that's what we're going to do, but first off, we have to chop them down. So I'm going to set you guys up on the tripod, and I'll get my little, I got my, got my plant cutters right there. So I'm going to get those, we're going to chop them down, and we're going to hang them in the 3x3. Three three. Alright, so I got all the uh, pipe cleaner ties off. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to chop this one first. There we go. Now, like I said, very small buds, but I hope you can see this. I'm not going to take them in my main tent to, to show you under the better light because I don't want to... Uh, transfer any powdery mildew over there so we'll go hang this in the three by three and then we'll grab the next one now you can see the lst that we've done on this and uh, that really helped to spread her out i just wish she was just a little bit more of a bigger bud structure but super super frosty and we'll release that and we'll chop the other one And there we go. Got a couple there that are bent over from when I was pulling the leaves off earlier, but beautiful plant, nice beautiful colors. So there we go. That's the end of the Platinum Girl Scouts cookies. Again, we can see the training down there. You see the curves in each stem as we pulled them down. So we'll go hang this one up as well. All right, guys, so we got them down. Uh, now I have to do a very thorough cleaning on this whole tent. Uh, I'll probably be using cleaning vinegar, 10% uh, acid. Uh, give everything, just soak it down with acid and uh, give it a good scrubbing. And I think once we clean everything with vinegar and scrub it all down, uh, I think I will put the heater in here for a day or so. Uh, crank it up see if we can get her up to 100 degrees Fahrenheit which is about 37 degrees Celsius uh, which shouldn't be a problem once it's sealed off we'll do that just as a precaution just to kill any spores uh, any mold or powdery mildew spores that we missed with the uh, scrubbing and cleaning with the acid and I'll leave the equipment right in here as well I don't think that'll hurt anything um, we've got the uh, Mars Hydro SP6500 here, which is what grew these plants. Did a wonderful job. A uh, little overkill for this size tent. This is a two and a half by five foot tent. And this light will do a much bigger area than that. Uh, I think with enough height on full blast, I think you could get close to a five by five area with this light. If anybody's interested in any of Mars Hydro's products, whether it be their lights or their exhaust fans and carbon filters, uh, tents, feel free to check out MarsHydro.com and there's a link in the description. And if you use my code BWARD, you'll save a little bit at checkout and help the channel as well. All right, guys, so that's it for this one. Uh, I'm, I knew... I normally do my outro in the big tent, but uh, I'm going to wait till I can get in the shower, clean up, change my clothes. Uh, I don't want to carry anything in there uh, from this tent. We're going to say goodbye for now. Uh, come back next week. We'll be checking on those seedlings, see if any more of those popped up. Uh, and we'll check out the auto flowers and see how they're doing. They're getting quite a ways into flower now, so uh, we'll check on them as well. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe, leave a comment down below, and we'll see you on the next one. Happy growing.